All right, guys. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to use the loft nerb. It's pretty simple. Let's go here. Choose loft. That's the loft nerb. Doesn't do anything yet. Let's go to the splines and choose the circle. A little circle spline there. Think my jid. And let's go choose another circle. Let's drag that circle out. Uh, and let's make this circle 200. So put the first circle in, second circle after that, and that's what loft nerve does. But you can even add more. So let's put in our circle in. Let's drag that circle out. Uh, then put the circle in. Whoops, it's got to go in. So it goes from big to small circle to big circle, or whatever size you want to do it. But you, you don't have to stick with just one kind of spline. Let's go with a star. Let's drag the star over here. So I want to go to from circle to star. Voila. And if you look, at your right display you can see it's a circle smaller circle bigger circle but you can't see the star here but you can see the star on the side uh, let's do a little bit more uh, let's put this four-sided one and then put it in voila you just created something I don't know what it is but it looks cool and that's basically what loft how you use the loft nerve but like everything else you want to make it a once you decide you want that you like it you can do something uh, make it a single object okay well that looks cool so to make it a single object you just select it select children right click it and then you just uh, current state to object and then it, it creates another one over here so you can delete the one you were working on now you select it select children then right click it again connect objects and delete and it makes one object there it is. One single object for you. Then just name it whatever you want. Uh, art. Alright guys, that's how I use it. Thanks for watching.